Queen Elizabeth was born on the 21st of April 1926 to the Duke and Duchess of York. The Duke was the second son of King George V and unlike his brother, Edward the Prince of Wales, who was heir to the throne, he lived a quiet and simple life. George taught the future queen the value of money, giving her only five pence a week in pocket money, two pounds and ninety-five pence in today's money. The queen is the longest reigning monarch and her private accounts are not published. According to the 2018 Sunday Times Rich List her personal fortune was estimated at £370 million this year. The Sovereign Grant is an annual report and provides a detailed breakdown of the funding provided to support the Queen and the Royal Family. The grant is the monarch's main source of income and contributes to her overall fortune. The total sovereign grant for 201718 was £76.1 million pound and included a reserve of £30.4 million pounds to fund the renovation of Buckingham Palace. The 10-year Buckingham Palace refurbishment is set to cost £369 million. Pounds. The report said the Queen's household supplemented the sovereign grant with an additional income of £17.3 million last year. This came from services like property rentals and facilities management. Keep of the Privy Purse Sir Michael Stevens said, for the first time since the reign of Queen Victoria, there are three generations of the royal family at work together in support of the Queen. Each generation brings its own style and personality. What everyone shares is a desire for the monarchy to reflect and serve all parts of our country and the wider Commonwealth. The majority of these earnings go to the government. Between 15 and 25 percent of the funds are kept back for the Queen in the form of a grant. The Queen's private income is subsided by income from the Duchy of Lancaster, the monarch's portfolio of land, property and financial investments. The income is used to meet expenditure by the monarch and other members of the royal family not paid for by the sovereign grant. In the 201617, the Duchy of Lancaster generated £19.2 million in income. But the crown jewels do not contribute to the Queen's personal finances. The infamous jewels are held by the Royal Collection and all costs of maintaining the collection is met through visitor admissions.